Hey, here we are, right out of Nine Last Swamp. And only, oh, I'm sorry to admit it to me this late. I apologize. We usually go by the CZ, the Rocky Mountain CZ and Clock. Shoot. What's up? I just messed up. I have to figure out how to get it back. Are we not on? Are we? What if we are? We are on. We are on. <laughs> but I messed up what I was doing on my phone. I deleted it instead of copied it. So I have to rewrite it. Well, welcome to the swamp, everybody. That crisis is past. Steve Bird's rag. Yeah, that was Steve Berg's rag. Steve Berg was a <laughs> member of our band from 2000 until 2004, almost five up until his passing. And uh, those were fun years. So I'd like to remember Steve with that rag that I, that I wrote during his lifetime. And uh, don't play enough. Um, I'm going to start out with a song that I did on my very first CD, which was called Think Back. And... Um, it's called Waking by the Sea. The sound of the sea, birds that hang on the wind, waking you from a long rest. The smell salt of the pond the wind wakens a thrill in my breast your body on the crystalline shore changing in form with the mold of my hand my blood hammers on within Like the sound of the waves on the sand I've been gone these seven years Lost in Weightless with water's flow, wise as a dolphin that swims endlessly. Splash upon the beach. Being is a promise built on the sand. Promise me the mystery, the warmth that's in your hand. Walking down along the shore, the water touch.
weightless with the water's flood and wise as a dolphin that swims in the sleep how I long to repeat your name against all eternity against the pulse of the sea Was called Waking by the Sea, and uh, that brings us to our, our second song. It's one of my favorite tunes. It's called The Ties That Blind. Now, I guess I should tell you what albums they're on. The Ties That Blind is on the album Heart, Mind, It All. Waking by the Sea is on an album called Think Back. And, um, it's actually called One Now. It's actually called One Now, yeah. that's true. But it was originally called <laughs> Think Back. Think back. Now it's called. Called. It's Ties That Blind. You're yeah. right? <clears throat> Let me think for a second. Okay. I've got some smoke in my lungs today, so <clears throat> excuse my my uh, my congestion. Are you ready? I believe I said so. that already. Okay, mm -hmm. time. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
that was yeah. called The Ties That Blind, and that is on our, our album, Heart, Mind, and All. And you can um, go to our website, dognoseband.com. That's dog, K-N-O-W-S, band.com. We have our CDs there, and if you purchase... K-N-O-W-S. And if you purchase a CD <laughs> from our website, we match the price, and we donate that money to a local food pantry. Yep. So thanks for joining us, and thanks for dropping us a line. Michael and uh, Catherine, I know you guys are busy moving. Boy, you have a lot going on. Thanks for joining us on your busy day. Joe Giglio, great show. We caught, caught, caught uh, the second half of it because we yeah, were riding was, our bikes. And it so, was truly good. Yeah, you can always catch Joe Giglio's show on, well, not always because he's not sure in the summertime if it's going to have him every Sunday. But um, try, check out his page, Joe Giglio. Um, G-I-G-L-I-O and uh, he has a show on Sundays at 2 p.m. so you can have a full Sunday and I, I'm gonna ro remind you because I know that you may have a couple of other uh, announcements too but I'm gonna remind you that we're gonna be on vacation next week but we're gonna attempt a show from the Adirondacks so if everything works well in the place where renting has Wi-Fi I think they do I, which we think they do uh, we probably will be here next uh, next Sunday and then uh, and have been for the foreseeable foreseeable future. So what have we got on our list now? Well, wait, got... well, I was just going to say oh. hello to some of the other people who joined us. And... That's on Hi, list. Mom. <laughs> Hi, Ruthie. Hi, Mom. Hi, Ruthie. Hi, Jane. Thank you, Ruthie, for reminding me that today is actually Sunday and not Saturday, which <laughs> I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, Kristen and Stuart. Thanks for joining us. John Martucci. Hi. Alice's Restaurant. Ooh, we'll have to read more on that later. Um, hi, Aunt Marilyn, Uncle Joe, and uh, and Jean. Hi, Jean. Thanks for joining us. And if you have joined us, just drop us a line so we know you're there, and we'll get back to you later. Now, on to the next song. And now, <laughs> I have to think. Let me see. I have to think. <laughs> it's still in these bars. Yeah. Okay. It's still in these bars. Here we go. Wait, wait. Now I have to think. Da 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 da. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. We're playing your own song Where's you down this life of mine We rode along through seven winters Where through good times and strong We sang away our cares And I'm still in these bars And I'm still on the road Did I wish we could sing together? 
together again Standing side by side Like we were still old friends And I'm still in these bars And I'm still on the run Still singing my songs And I'm still having my fun And I'm still in these bars This is uh, this next song I'm going to play is is is, is boy is older than me almost except that I wrote it would be older than me but the, um, I still play it and um, the story about it was that uh, in it was about 19 oh I'm going to say it was about 1969 and 1970 or so um, I was hired by a, a, a Long Island band called the Boston Post Road and um, to write a song and to produce their very first single, which was produced by uh, a lot of um, very nice um, people of uh, former Italian extraction um, who, who paid for the whole project and, and used to drive into the city with a, with a Lincoln, with uh, Carmine Alleri. And uh, it was pretty, it was an eye opener for me. We recorded it at uh, Manhattan Sound, which was an MGM studio, and all the way there we kept teasing Carmine and said, come on, Carmine, you're really in the mafia. <laughs> and he just looked at us and laughed and kept drinking his bottle of Canadian Club. But anyway, this is the song, and uh, this was the B-side. As it turned out, they were both B-sides. <laughs>
lights in her sky. Earth sings and moonbeams with the sunshine from her eyes. Sunshine, I'm living in a darker way. Sunshine, you love is from another. Travel now into the night, the darkness of the afterlife, away from all the good times that I knew. The candles burn, the bottles done, alone I stand without the sun to go my way and sing my song for you. Sun child, I'm living in the dark. Sunshine, your love is from another day. No matter what I try to do, I can't bring back the past. And your sunshine is slipping from the past. Your sunshine is slipping from the past. Your sunshine is slipping from the past. and Tracy too? No. Oh, or are you just boy. hanging out by yourself, Janice? I don't know. I see Janice's <laughs> name. Uh, Jean, uh, you post such beautiful pictures right from your backyard. What a great view you have. You could see High Point from just looking mm, out. Really? Yeah, nice. really nice. Nice pictures. Thanks for joining us. Pretty close to me, June. This is <laughs> called the so. Hammer and Cross. <laughs> Will a song about promises kept ever ring through the hall? Now the old breaker's song, it's a curse down the years. It's the Lambs grew fat and the summers ever were fair. 
shield hung roof tree so tall And the blackened stones of our breached walls were all that Shadows stolen away. Now our ashes rise away. The brambles grew wide on the old trodden way, while the whole Like a trust in a lost friend Will a song about promises kept Ever ring through the hall Now the old breaker's song It's a curse down the years It's the only The Hammer and the Cross. This was influenced by the summer of reading too many novels by Bernard Cornwell. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and now we have a real treat for you. A real treat? Something yeah. red that something matches. Red. Uh, the house. Nope. No? Not something red. Not no. something red? No. Nope. Oh. We've got. Oh, before something red. Okay. Okay. In, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Jumping in 18, in 1876, the Lakota Sioux finally got the ups and revenge on a person that they hated above all other things. They referred to him as long hair. Uh, other Native Americans referred to him as Goldilocks. <laughs> and you may know him as General George Custer, uh, who was a general at the time of his, his death. And um, the song was was uh, almost almost a, a big song for me because I got I got I was asked to audition for uh, a guy uh, named Alan Lorber, who was a huge producer, he produced records like Under the Boardwalk and wrote string arrangements for them, uh, to come in and record this for a bicentennial show that never happened. Of course, the bicentennial was for 1776. I'm not sure why they asked us to come for something that happened in 1876, but there it is. Uh, my, my uh, idea for this, this song, Long Hair, uh, came from the actual song that the Sioux sang um, the night that they killed Custer. It was, it was what they actually called a kill song. And I'm going to read to you Black Elk's, uh, the, the version he remembers that was sung on that occasion. 
Uh, long hair, by the way, is what they call a custard, as I mentioned before. And I have a couple of other words I'm going to tell you before I do my version of, of, uh, of the Lakota song. Long hair has never returned, so his woman is crying. Looking over here, she cries. Long hair, guns I had none, you brought me many. I thank you, you make me laugh. Long hair, horses I had none, you brought me many. I thank you, you make me laugh. Long hair, where he lies, nobody knows. Crying, they seek him. He lies over here. Let go your holy irons, guns. You are not men enough to do any harm. Let go your holy irons. And that's what, that's as much as Black Elk remembered. Uh, he was a young man, 20-ish or so, in 1876. He recalls all these events much, much later to John Nyhard when he was a very, very, very old man. Uh, Black Elk was a shaman of the Lakota. Uh, and let's see. Uh, I have not played this song in decades, literally decades. <laughs> and I've been, I was at, I've been asked over the years by Paul Luke, who's a good friend of mine, to uh, revive this song. So I haven't really played this. This is the first time I've play the song in a really long time, so I, I know I haven't gotten to uh, Paul, I don't even know where you are, but somehow I think somebody's going to tell you to let's turn this on and give a listen, and I'll track you down too. And um, what did I do with the capo that I had? Is it in mm, your pocket? No, it's not. We have to find one. Find your spare, Sean. My spare is in the other room. Okay, let's go. Let's go find it. <laughs> okay, everybody, entertain yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go find a capo. <laughs> Good day. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. All right, I found it. Okay. I get the prize. All right, I'm going back. Gosh. Woo. All right, this is a... Uh... And look, I'm back, and Kurt found his capo, so he will be back, too. Who would ever guess? This is a... I won't say anything about this being an everyday event, about finding things in the house. No, you won't. That's, no. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I so appreciate that. So anyhow, uh, yeah. Oh, so I, I, don't, I can't sing it in the original key anymore. So I have, what I did is, I, I, if you're playing along, is I had to tune, I tuned my guitar down a whole step, and then I'm putting a capo on the first fret so that I'm actually playing it a half step flat. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm ready to make this big attempt. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, Paul, I hope this gets to you. Uh, and here it is, long hair. You've been asking for it for about 30 years. If I <laughs> <you're right. laughs> long hair is dead, and never more he'll run. His woman's crying in the sun. He always had it coming, never stopped to see the wrongs he done. Long hair is dead on the ground. I found his guns. I'll use them well to my time is done. We've got his holy irons left his body rotting in the sun. The black hills hold the metal. The white men died. That's what the general told them. It could be just a lie. We're tired of all the soldiers and the wheels that cut the ground. The time is right to die, or put our statues down. Long hair, we're glad for the horses that we ride. The ones you left us when you died. We always had them coming. So drop down your eyes, they cannot do us hard. Return to your women and your farms. Your chief is lying dead, his body's in the greasy grass of art. The black hills hold the medal for which the white men died. That's what the general told them, it could be just a lie. We're tired of all the soldiers and the wheels that cut the ground. The time is right to die. Or put my statues down Back at the camp 
fire is burning bright. We'll sing this song against the night. Maybe back in Washington, your fathers will give up their lawless fight. So drop down your eyes. They cannot do us hard. Return to your women and your fathers. Your chief is lying dead. His body's in the greasy grass on our The Black Hills hold a medal for which the white men died. That's what the general told them. It could be just a lie. We're tired of all the soldiers and the wheels that cut the ground. The time is right to die. Or do I sit you down? It's taken me 30 years to get around to it, but there it is. Hey, Blaze. Okay, switch guitars. All right. Whoop. Now. Now. Something red. Something red. Something red to match this red harmonica that Michael Klein gave me, which I played for several songs today. Mm -hmm. So while Kurt's getting himself set up with that, I'm going to um, tell you about a sh live show we have this week coming up on the Walkway Over the Hudson. So if you're in Highland, we're on the Highland side of the Walkway Over the Hudson and the, uh, the Parks Service and the Hudson Valley Folk Guild put together this Thursday night shows for the summertime. It's from six to seven on uh, Thursday night. June, I mean, uh, what month are we in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'll be August. August 3rd will be Kurt and myself playing, Cheryl and Kurt playing the walkway over the Hudson. So come join us. Bring a, um, they do have some benches and tables there, but you might want to bring your own chair, bring a little picnic or something cold to drink. Um, and if it's raining, they do have us under a shelter. If it's thundering, they'll probably cancel it. So hope it doesn't thunder. Always check our website www.dognoseband dog k n o w s dog noseband.com for um, our calendar. You can see where we're playing and for our Got CDs. I'm useless. Do you have a cable you can plug in? No, I can't. I don't have a cable I can plug in. Okay, so I have um, this, this uh, amplifier's not going on. The amplifier's not. I can't get it to play. Oh, okay. Why does this keep happening lately? I don't know, but we have our CDs on the website. Okay, I'm going to go get a different amp. All right. If you buy a CD, we match the price, and we send that off to a local food pantry. Is your knob just turned down or something? No, they're all turned up. Okay, is it, the, is it the wireless or something that needs to be hooked oh, in? Oh, you know what? I think I have the wireless things backwards. Okay, well, that will do Let's it. Let's see. Let's see. So we'll figure this out, and we'll yep, be with you. Yep, that's what it is. We'll be with you. As soon as that red thing gets ready. Yeah. <laughs> this might solve the problem. Yes. And in the meantime, make sure you check out. Let's yeah, solve the problem. Joe Giglio <laughs> show on Sundays at two o'clock. Okay, you can hear him play. Quick minute to uh, tune up. Tune us up, yeah. Okay. What else can I talk about while you're tuning up? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks how about, for, uh, thanks how for about joining the walkway us. on the Hudson? Did I you, did do that did one, yes. On Ruthie Hudson. says, take your time. So, Thanks, Ruthie. And Joe Giglio says, now that's a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it is a guitar. <laughs> uh, yeah, so very capable. Guess who said that? What? So very capable, Joe Giglio. Ruthie says, thanks for reading Black Hawk. Black Elk. John, Bla uh, John Mochucci said he read Black Elk Speaks a few years ago. He says it's totally heartbreaking. It is. Yeah. It is. It's, it's incredible, really. It's an incredible, incredible work. It's been criticized by people. Uh, but it is indeed. It is an incredible ah, document. Ah, we are on. What are we on? Moonglow. Sure. Ah, Moonglow. Okay. Are you ready? Moonglow, yeah. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Okay. It sounds very loud all of a sudden. Yeah. I don't know if it's me or not. I'm going to turn down a little bit. Okay. 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 Okay.
where it was.
Taking it a day As the chords fall From the sweet guitar Surrounds me, whispers softly, tells us where we are, makes me feel all right. On the border of the water, sky, and the ocean sand, we sit together side by side.
so much for joining us tonight in Nine Mile Swamp. And as we said earlier in the show, we're going to attempt to show uh, from um, Great Sakandaga Reservoir and uh, if the Wi-Fi is working in the place we're renting and everything is good. And next uh, week, yes. I think everything yeah. will be good. So. Yeah. so hopefully we'll see you then next Sunday night in the Nine Mile Swamp. Always good to see you. Always great to see your names yeah, coming across the screen. Thank you so much screen. for joining us. And and thank look, you for your comments. There's the famous Dave Kearney, who was our guest on last week's it show. Is. Hi, and Dave. And by the way, last week, last week we broke our record. We had 800 viewers last over week. Over 800 viewers. Yeah. Over 800 viewers last week. Thanks to thanks mm -hmm. to all you guys coming all the time and and uh, and I think spreading also spreading the word. That's right, and also having our special guest Dave. Yes. Because uh, Dave. from the first time we had him, we were get, we've been getting requests to have him back again. So. Uh, and, and we will have him back yet again. Yes. Um, and so, sure, it's time, so, for, the, it's time, time for, for high technology. High technology. Here you go, Joe Giglio. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all of you. We are so grateful. And we hope to see you again next week. And don't forget, Thursday in Highland at the walkway over the Hudson, Cheryl and Kurt will be performing from 6 to 7 p.m. <laughs> Thanks, John. You can learn about the real Nine Mile Swamp that's in Waterville, New York. If you go to their Facebook page, Friends of the Nine Mile Swamp, it really is a real place. Kayak there. Thank you.